In our previous video, we took a look at installing Oracle Application Express 4.1 in our database. In this video, we're going to take a look at the URLs that you need to actually log into your Application Express environment. We're also going to take a look at how to determine what the port number is for the install and how to change that number if you're interested in doing that. So by default, Oracle Application Express is going to run on port 8080. So if I want to log into my environment, the format of my URL, URL has to look like this. It's going to be my host name, which in this case is fourth month one, the port number, which like we said is 8080, and if I want to log in as an Application Express developer, I can just type Apex at the end, specify that as my URL, and you can see we're brought into the main login screen for my Oracle Application Express environment. If I wanted to log in as the administrator of my Apex environment, it's the same login, but at the end, instead of slash Apex, we want to put an Apex underscore admin. And you can see the login screen is a little different there, and it's asking us for Oracle Application Express internal administration credentials. This is obviously how you would get in and do administrative work in your Application Express environment. What if we don't know what the port number is. We know Application Express has been installed in our environment. Uh, maybe someone has installed it and they chose a different port number. Uh, maybe a consultant was inside your organization and didn't document how to log into the environment. How can we go out there and determine uh, what port Application Express is running on? I'm going to hop in SQL Developer here and I'm going to log into my database as the sys user. As soon as I log in, through SQL Developer. And it doesn't have to be SQL Developer. You can use any tool to connect to an Oracle database. If you like SQL Plus, you can certainly use that. I'm going to execute a command that's going to query. It's going to call a, um, a function inside the database. It's going to query that information and bring it back to me. So I'm going to select dbms underscore xdb. That's going to be the package uh, that we're going to try to call from. And you can see that SQL Developer tries to fill in all the different pieces for me automatically. It looks at all of the different objects that are inside my database and says, is this what you're looking for? So I can click on that and say, yes, that's what I'm looking for, dot. And then I'm going to specify the function inside this package that will give me the information. And it's simply get HTTP port. This is a function. It's going to pull back information. I have to query it this way into a special table called dual. If you're not familiar with dual, it's kind of a virtual table inside the Oracle database that can hold temporary information. So I'm going to execute that guy and you can see that the query comes back as port 8080. So that's what I would use to log into the Application Express environment. I may not like that. I may not say, I may say, you know, 8080 it's too much for my developers to have to remember. They're used to nice simple URLs. The standard URL port for HTTP communications is port 80. So let's say I want to change that to port 80 and make it a lot easier to get in and out of the Oracle Application Express environment. How would I do that? Well, it's real simple. We can set up a little anonymous PL SQL block here. Let's start with a begin. And we're going to execute another function inside that same package, that dbms underscore xdb package. And the one that we just called was get HTTP port. Well, this one is obviously going to be set HTTP port. So I'm going to run dbms underscore xdb dot set HTTP port. And I'm going to set the value that I want the Oracle Application Express HTTP listener to be running on. Tricky thing with this is you would think that it would be a number here, but it's actually a string variable, so you have to enclose it in a little string like that. Say end. Go back to my beginning statement. And then I'm going to run this all as a script. The script goes out there, runs everything, and then I just type something there. It didn't seem to like something. Ah, didn't like missing a semicolon at the end. Let's go in there, run that guy again. Anonymous block completed. So now my 
Application Express environment should be running on port 80. So if I go back into my web browser here, and just as a test, I'm going to leave it as 8080 and try to go into Application Express. You can see Firefox is thinking about it. It's trying to communicate locally on my server. Can't find anything. So I'm going to remove the 80s from there completely since that's the default port and just say, you know what, I want to go to fourth month one slash apex, hit the reload button, and as soon as Firefox decides it's going to display it, there you can see is my login. Again, Application Express redefines the URL with some session information, but we don't have any port information anymore since it's communicating on the standard port of port 80. In the next video, we're going to look at some more really interesting things that we can do with Oracle Application Express.